'Cause I'll remember all my life, though some have changed, some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. All these places had their moments with lovers and friends. I still can recall some are dead and some are living. In my life, I've loved them all. Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you all about piano accompaniment. How to either accompany yourself or your favorite singer, friend, or fellow musician who you jam with. We are going to take. the amazing beatles song in my life which i think has a great chord progression so it will inspire you right away to play the thing and what i have done in this lecture is i've developed five levels of playing this so at whichever level you might be let's say you're a beginner or a you know upcoming player or you've just about started uh, there will be a version which will work for you with simple chord formation uh if you're an advanced player if you'd like to develop a professional arrangement of this song and perform it on stage or do a version or a recording of it do stay tuned to part 4 or 3 or 3 4 5 the last three parts will be really really interesting for an intermediate or an advanced player so i've broken this lesson down into the three parts which the beatles themselves have broken down right the intro <laughs> then the verse there are places i remember all my life now some have changed then the uh, breakdown or the bridge section all these places have their moments when lovers and friends i still can recall some are dead and some are living in my life i love them all So we'll do each of those parts. I'll try and sing along as well. You should also sing along as well because this is an accompaniment lesson. So let's get cracking, guys. Before we do a couple of things about the lesson, you can supplement your entire learning by heading over to patreon.com/jasonzack on my portal. For five dollars a month, you're gonna get access to the entire notes from this lesson, including the staff notation and the MIDI files of every single variation. You'll also get different uh, MIDI files and supp supporting backing tracks for this lesson, as well as all the other lessons we have done in the past and we will ever do. So the five bucks a month gives you access to pretty much everything. we have ever done on our youtube page okay so let's get cracking with version number 1 the intro is just going to be the melody just that so that's what you do in your right hand by the way we are on a major three sharps okay so you can start with your index ta ra ti re re ra Two, three, four. If you see the notation, it's one, two, three, and four, and and you hold it on to the next bar as well, and copy paste. Okay, that's about your right hand. The left hand in this version one, part one, so to speak, out of five parts, five levels. Your left hand is just going to hold the chord root. So you can do the chords are A, na 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 na, E, da. A A da na na na. So just do the roots. Two, three, four. You could also double it up by doing two minims, or if you want some energy, do the pulse as crotchets. I know you're thinking there's that bass uh, climb so we will get to that very shortly okay so that's about your intro okay okay so that's about your intro 
So if we count this down, it will be one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and as you'll see in the notation. Now the left hand will play the chord roots, E, which is pretty much A and E. So you could decide if you want how you want to play it. You can just hold it as a semi breve or a whole note. So then it will last for the whole bar. Four, one, two, three, four, right? Or you could double it up and do minims. Two, three. So the hit points for minims would be one and three. Three. One, two, three. And crotchets. Which gives us a nice sense of the pulse, right? So these are things you can do in your left hand. So melody, remember, I prefer to start with my index. And then cross over your thumb. That kind of works for fingering. So let's now move on to the verse section. So for the verse, I've just basically chosen block chords in the right hand. So what is a block chord? You just see the chord printed there and you just play them together like that. And we can play this for the most part with quarter notes or crotchets or on the pulse. One, two, three. Three, four, and I would recommend to hit it a bit staccato as demonstrated in the notation. That's two, three, four, one. Okay, that could work. There are places I remember. Of course, we need to change the chords, which I am going to share with you. So the left hand is going to do minims, which will be one, two, three, four, one. So I'll just play it and then break it down. There are places I remember all my life, though some have changed. Right? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so minims in the left hand and pulse with staccato in the right hand. So only the right hand for the verse A major, F sharp. And then A seventh. So F sharp minor and A seventh happens in the same bar. So A major four times, F sharp twice, A seventh. This is how I'm changing it with inversions. So A major is here, F sharp minor is there, G major is there. So I'm only moving the upper voice. He says I remember. Now I go to D major. Yeah, my life, my life. That's D major, D minor. Okay, that's a very common movement. That's a four major, my life, to four minor, and then yeah, have changed. Some have changed. Okay, so left hand A. F sharp, A because it's A seventh and D. Stay on D because D major and D minor have a D, D, D minor and A major. Just A. So let's do it again without me talking and explaining too much. Just observe the movement. There are places I'll remember in my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. Okay. Keep a nice staccato in the right hand. Okay, let's journey forward to the next section or the B section if we call it. This is super easy. You hold the first two chords. That's F sharp minor. And all these places had their moments. Just hold the chord. That's A, C sharp, F sharp with F sharp bass. Places have their moments that lovers and friends I still can recall. 
with lovers and friends g major i still can recall some are dead and some are living so there again you hold the chords some are dead and some are living in my back to quarters i love them all whole thing all these places had their moments the second all these places have their moments Lovers and friends, I still can recall. Some are dead and hold the card. Uh, living two, three. In my life, I love you more. So that's like a basic version to get cracking with the song. So if you're a beginner, I would encourage you to play the chords. What are we doing in the as a gist in the accompaniment? We are playing block chords in the right hand with a simple bass, which is the roots of each chord. And then we are holding some chords and we are playing some chords as pulses. So let's move on to version 2 where we are going to make it slightly more energetic if you will. I'm doing I'm trying to do that climb of the bass which is just a third with respect to the right hand. Right hand is and the left hand earlier was going just simple A and E but now it's it's going A B C sharp E. That's the bass notes. Da 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 da. And then you can come back to a low E. I think that sounds rather cool. A A B C sharp E. e. Again. Da da. Pum 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 pum. That's your intro. So we've moved from two. Okay and now the verse it's pretty much the same way we played it earlier but just to make it energetic i'm leaving a space at beat 1 and beat 3 of the bar so instead of doing there are places i'll remember i'm doing it there are places i'll remember na na life i've loved them all Right, dun dun. So at the two and the four, you'll be striking the chords again. A staccato would be fine. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the left hand gets a bit busier by going like what the pattern I call. I call this umpa, 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 um. Okay, so you go instead of just holding A, A, the roots of the chords, you do root and the fifth, and you add a couple of extra notes as you'll see in the notation as and as I'm going to show you. So in bar one, there are places I'll re, there are places I'll re. Now moving on, member, member, oh, since it's a quick change, you do F sharp, A. Because F sharp minor A seven. Remember all my life. For variety, I've done D D. I love you more. So, whole uh, verse we'll try. There are places I'll remember. Yeah. Okay. All my life, though some have changed. So, 
Than the places I you can even kind of double double it as eighth notes if you wish, but then that will sound too chirpy. I guess may not work for this sort of a song. This is I remember all my life. I love them all. Okay, and that repeats. And then how are we doing the pre-chorus or the next part of the song? So at that F sharp minor going to D major part again. I want to create that holding effect of the chord so we don't make it that rhythmic, but slightly different than the previous version. In the previous version, we held a semi breathe. Now what I'm proposing you do is you do one, two, three, four, one. Two. So you strike the right hand at the two and hold it on for three counts. Okay. All these places have their moments. Okay. With lovers and friends. Same rhythm. I still can recall some are dead and some are living. Same voicing in of the chords. In my life, in my octave life, I love them all. Okay, bridge again. A second section two. All these places have their moments. Three with lovers and friends. I still can recall. Some are dead and some are living. In my life, I love them all. Love them all. Love. Okay, that's the basic vibe of the pattern. We are going to move forward, and it's going to get slightly more interesting. So do stay tuned. Don't miss any of these variations. They are all going to help you not only with this song. It could be a few other songs. So let's move on to part three. So in the third iteration, the intro pretty much remains the same as the first bar will be the same. Or you could even do the original bass line, which is. is also really cool now i did in the last part because it's more traditional doing thirds but what the beatles do is sounds a bit annoying when you play them together but in the whole context with the bass doing that and the guitar doing the other thing the timbers don't match so it sounds nice together as a passing and then pa bam pam And then we do that nice bass lick, para, which is the same thing in the song. We go, ta de ra ra ra, dum tu ta dum. At the three, you're gonna start the bass lick. Ta da, dum pum pum pa, ta dum. So pa da, that's at the end of the four. So you need to hold that on. It's tied on. Again. Okay, whole thing again. Pam pam pam. Pam there. I've kept it simple at the end. Pam there are places. Now the only variation from the last part. Last part the umpa I did. Okay now we are just going to sneak in an extra bass note and the right hand is going to be the same really for the verse so i'll play it and then show you tum tum pa tum tum pa tum pa tum pa tum so one and two and so at the end of the two and then also later at the end of the four so one and two 
and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So let's just get that. There are places I rip. There are places I'll remember. Okay, remember. Padu, padu. So I'm trying to build a nice moving bass line as well. You could follow the notes as as well to help you learn the thing properly. There are places I'll remember. Padum, padu. Tum, ta tum, ta to. Padu, padum, 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 padu. Padu. I'm singing the bass. Tum, padum. So let's do the whole thing really slow. There are places I remember in my life, though some have changed. Some forever, no, for better. Some have gone, and some remain. So at the holding part, just to make it interesting, I figured let's not do it at the two of the bar. Let's do it at the two and a half of the bar. Okay. So all these places. So one and two and. So end of the two. All these places have their moments. There we go. The tum. Back to the usual rhythm. With lovers and friends, I still can recall. But that and I'm living. Okay. One and two and three and four are living. In my life. Boom boom. Ba dum. Okay, so in a nutshell, version three is essentially one and two and 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 three. the ands of the two and the four will come into play, and the right hand pretty much stays its ground. And for that bridge section, we did and two and three and four and one and two. And what we do in the intro, we made it quite busy. Four, which is almost the same intro as the song. So we have a good good enough working version I think for you to perform at a gig or with your favorite singer friend or you only sing but uh, like a lot of these youtube lessons of ours we want to push a bit more forward or a punch a little above our weight so i have two more variations for you which kind of make it into the folkish song or the 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 pop rock folk vibe that it is so let's move forward to version number 4 so i'll just play you the intro and then we'll move forward Okay so what changed there I'm just doing that chang chaka chang chak very guitar finger style inspired or banjo like if you will instead of doing I'm doing one e and a two one e and a one e and a two one e and chum chaka ta dum I call this the gallop rhythm want to work on that primarily that's the main uh, change okay and then it's the same I, i for the most part then same bass and four and dum there are play 
Intro again, little slow. So you remember the last way which we did where the left hand did an additional hit at the end of the 2 and the end of the 4 right ba dum ta dum now we keep that going exactly the way we learned version 3 but version 4 is going to do some fancy stuff in the right hand so instead of doing we are going to do the same chord but broken 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 so and 2 and 4 that's how you those are the hit points of the right hand and 2 and 4 and 2 and 4 so let's do that again real slow remember the right hand is hitting at the 1 and 2 and 4 1 and 2 and four while the left hand does its usual one and two and three and and one and two and three and four and one put that together there are places i remember oh, 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 i've changed some forever not for better Ooh, some have gone Okay. Then we go to the next part, the B section. So what I'm doing there is one and two and three. So one and two and three, four and one. At the holding chords. So all these places had their moments. Pa pa. with lovers in and back to the old rhythm tum 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 the mother and some are living papa in my life i love them all hey we had some interesting uh, galloping intro that one okay it's going to get slightly more intense in the fifth part then the verse went and the holding part moments okay That is part four. Moving on to part number five. Trust me, this is the last thing we are going to do to in my life. Um, hopefully, this is a way for you to apply a lot of these patterns and concepts not only to this song but to a variety of songs you may accompany with your own vocals or with your friend singing. It will really work. So the last part. is definitely something i think you'll enjoy so let's get straight to it and if you're having a problem to catch the notes or as i'm playing real time there's always notation and midi waiting for you on our patreon do consider getting yourselves a copy moving forward so let's first deal with the intro of the song in the last embellishment style i'll play it once and then teach quite like what i did there so it's basically the same as always but with that gallop 
which we learned earlier tang takata now taga daga daga i'm doing taga daga daga i'm adding this ghost note or this passing e to make it more intense ta ra ra i'm adding a nice fat sounding gospel chord here a b with my thumb for some of you you may think it's very weird why is he playing two notes with his thumb well i can play two notes with my thumb so i think that's cool so learn it a b e and g sharp so that's the block chord on the e so gallop toggle that e lower e and then i am playing e major in spread vo- voicing e b g sharp back to that end of the bar uh, bass line we're not going to change that so. slowly okay the second bar of the intro i did something slightly different Okay, I I played that spread harmony, that spread chord slightly faster to allow me to hit A and B in the right hand at that point, at B two basically of the bar two. Ta-da! Whole intro. Okay now what do we have for the verse in version 5 so we are pretty much going to gallop the entire verse it's going to sound something like this pretty much what you did for the intro so one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a left left right right left if that's easy for you to remember let's just do only a major in the gallop now we change in the first bar there are places i'll because it's a over e right that's the chord places i'll i'll re places i'll remember and then the same voicing Pretty much this rhythm throughout. I'm doing a nice passing bass that. Tang ta tang, tang ta tang, tang tang. How am I doing the breakdown part? Well, I'm doing a dotted quaver rest, one e and a two, one e and a two. Okay. All these places have their moments. Okay. Okay. Three, four, one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a three. Back to the usual gallop. same part climbing bass tum ta tum tan tan ta tan slowly tang 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 ta dum ta tum ta tang ta tang ta tang tang ta dum ta tang ta tang tang ta tang ta tang ta tang
that's pretty much in my life with five variations so depending on your skill level or your interest level as to what you want to play with all the stuff we've discussed hopefully there's a lot of material for you to follow and uh, just before i conclude i wanted to make a important point that we have missed out the piano solo the famous george martin piano solo now don't worry there is another video waiting for you where i've played this entire solo taught it and it's going to be explained in great detail the incredible counterpoint uh, piano solo which comes uh, in the middle as an interlude as a solo in the song in the middle somewhere so uh, that part is also there waiting for you and you can learn all of this material with supplementary notes staff notation midi backing tracks and other resources on our patreon page so do consider heading over there and you will find in my life all the five arrangements downloadable in high quality files you'll also find the solo arrangement as well downloadable uh, uh, as a pdf midi and what not so thanks a ton for watching the lesson do consider subscribing to our channel hitting the bell icon for regular notifications and do leave us a comment with what you'd like to learn in the future and our channel is there to figure that out for you and there's also a like button somewhere there it'd be nice if you could hit that like uh, please do all this now itself don't wait you may forget so do all all of what i told you pretty much right now it'll be awesome thanks a ton for watching the lesson cheers again this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music catch you in the next lesson cheers